The current outbreak of H1N1 influenza or swine flu is a global pandemic. Cases have been confirmed in over 200 countries and nearly 5,000 people have died. Most of us have no natural immunity against this new virus. So people look to the pharmaceutical industry to provide effective treatments and protection. The response has been rapid and effective, with H1N1 vaccines approved just three months after the pandemic was declared. But industry started its preparations years ago, investing in new technology, intensifying research and development, and building more manufacturing capacity. As soon as the new influenza outbreak was reported, manufacturers started preparing to combat this specific threat. This included producing targeted H1N1 vaccines and increasing output of antiviral medicines. Thanks to close cooperation between the WHO, its influenza collaborating centers, and the vaccine companies, the pandemic strain was quickly identified, adapted for vaccine use, tested, and improved. The surveillance system has worked well. The vaccine industry has invested over $4 billion to fight pandemic influenza and will produce around 3 billion doses of H1N1 vaccine in the coming year. At the same time, normal seasonal influenza has not gone away. It kills up to a half a million people each year. So vaccine companies worked hard to make as much seasonal vaccine as possible while also preparing to make the H1N1 vaccine. The H1N1 pandemic is a major public health challenge and must be dealt with on a global scale. Poor countries are as vulnerable to H1N1 as rich ones, but lack the money to buy pandemic vaccines. The pharmaceutical industry will help by selling vaccines to them at greatly reduced prices and donating a stockpile of vaccines and antiviral medicines to the WHO for use in developing countries. The WHO has said we have never been so well prepared for a pandemic. And our industry has helped. The industry has shown that it can respond quickly, work collaboratively, and deliver medicines and vaccines responsibly.